Good morning. It is Saturday, May 16th. That means that more than half of May has now gone as well. This year seems to be going so fast, and at the same time, it seems to be taking forever because of the stay in place and the pandemic and all the different restrictions. But here we are, another day, and we have another reason to give praise to God because, after all, we are alive to sing his praises. We are alive to receive his blessings. Today, the day before Sunday, the 17th, we are getting ready to open our churches for Mass slowly. Next week on Monday, we will begin with our weekday Masses once again, 6.30 and 8.30 a.m. The 6.30 a.m. Mass will take place in the chapel, and please remember, anybody 65 years of age or older should be staying at home. If you come to church, make sure that you wear a face mask for your protection as well as for our own. Again, the 6.30 Mass will be in the chapel, use the side entrance, and the 8.30 a.m. Mass will take place in the large church because we are continuing to live stream the 8.30 a.m. Mass as well. If you come to the 8.30 Mass, we'd ask you to come through the chapel entrance and go to the center section of the church, the center front section. Normally, we don't care where people sit. We give them a chance to go wherever they want. But at this point in time, we want to use a certain section of the church only so that we have the opportunity to sanitize it afterwards. So follow the directions of the people who escort you or point you to the different places in the church so as not to use places that are being blocked off. We'd rather not have to rope everything off. We'd hope that you would just listen to where we are asking you to go. On Sundays at 10 a.m., we are still live streaming our Masses, and there are select people who will be going to the Masses. Tomorrow, we have people from our RCIC and RCIA program who will be coming to church to receive their sacraments or complete their sacraments. The next two Sundays will be First Communion classes. Those are the only people that will be invited into the church. So please don't try walking in. Please stay home and continue to participate in Mass during the live stream. As I said, we are opening things up slowly. We want to make sure that we can keep our church sanitized. We want to make sure that we can keep everybody safe. There is light at the end of the tunnel, and the tunnel doesn't seem to be so long now. Hopefully, by the end of the summer, we will all be together in a much less restricted manner. But for now, slow and patient. God bless you this day and every day of your lives.